hello friend we can my name is kaushik kumar and uh, today's topic is strong numbers happy numbers and uh, jalam phalams and uh, fibonic series first we go for uh, strong numbers what do you mean by strong number at the special number whose sum of the factorials of digits equal to the original numbers it's become a uh, strong numbers so 145 is a strong numbers here we can take as one factor is one and four factor is 24 and five factor is 120 so you can write the programs so we can go for the programs and how to write our programs then going for strong numbers so i write the program already so then time will be saved so going for a strong numbers we can here we can say decode the programs so strong numbers uh, not so is there strong numbers you can write the strong numbers numbers you can rename it and here this becomes uh, you the file as your strong numbers so is the strong numbers here yeah, strong number we can take by using a scanner methods and uh, here we can write the methods so by taking as a strong numbers how we can define first to go for number so we can take in as a 145 so 145 not is equal to 0 so taken as a 145 not equal to 0 so first condition true now going for second conditions and it becomes 145 and modulus by 10 so it becomes 5 so 5 so now here the factorials we can write the factorial here factorial method is there so we can call by using factorial methods here we can say the five factorials here we can sum the sum should be the zero here we return a sum so the zero and sum equal to sum plus factorial of five so five factorials now becomes now divided by n by two n by tens so n equal to 145 divided by tens now it becomes 14 so debugging by this way you can debug so go through the methods and go and going to run debug condition is coming or not so we can check is debugging here or not now we the here is the not debugging so we can use debugging and then another projectors so here we can use the factorials now sums here is checking the sums equal to numbers is 145 is coming or not so 144 145 will be stored in the temporary base here we can store the temporary base now 145 becomes uh, here and here not equal to 0 now is second word the 14 and going for against second methods then 14 not equal to 0 then here we check 5 and here 5 factors 5 factors become here's uh, come out second steps it's come out uh, like uh, 14 modulus by 10 it's become out 4 so here we can 120 120 plus 4 factors so here the second step is there so now in the last steps 14 more divided by 10 so 14 divided by 10 it becomes 1 here 1 is coming out now again you checking the condition here 1 not equal to 0 is condition true here so now becomes 1 modulus by 10 it's become 1 and here one factor will equal to 120 plus 4 3 2 1 4 3 12 and uh, 12 uh, 12 to this 24 so 24 
now here's and plus one okay so and here's one mod by tens it's becomes zero so the condition is true and giving out so sums becomes here the sums becomes 145 equal to 145 the sum is coming sense here factorials method factor how can we return as factorials using the recursion here if the condition and n if the factorial 5 is coming so n equal to 5 yes so if n is less than once then it's written once not then here we can write uh, 5 then going for factorials then again going for calling the same method so n minus 1 says become 4 this was up to calling when the conditions become false then it's terminate and it becomes the return type so it's become the return value so after giving us a up to going for fact zero then it gives return Now we can save the methods and run the programs. So so is the strong numbers then is coming as scanner. We can say factorials, then we can give as a number how many numbers of factorial limited. So now we're going for how many is uh, strong numbers are between. So here so we can check in as a scanner. By using the scanner, we can read the data. Here I from starting 1, 2, 100, and I plus plus. The strong values is coming in true or not, then we're giving the output. So we have 100 centers, then it's true, and 1 and 2 are the two strong numbers. Then again, we can run the program, we can check up to the thousands, it's coming or not. So thousands. So one, two, and forty-five are strong numbers. Then we can we can check up to the th one thousand, one thousand, one ten thousand. So meters. So one forty-five is there. Now again we going for meters. It's giving up to one lakh. There, these are the strong numbers. Now going for a second. So no, 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 going for happy numbers. If no happy numbers is it called happy numbers. It's lead to one by the sequence by stepping where in the each step of number is replaced by the sum of the square of its digits. Then if we started with the happy numbers and keep replacing by digit and the sum, we can reach to one. Have example are taken as a 19s and uh, 19 is happy numbers where we can check 1 the square of 2 and 9 square is 2 is become 82 and then 8 square of 2 and 2 square of 2 it becomes 68 and 6 square of 2 and 8 square of 2 is become 100 and 100 square of 2 and 0 square of 2 and 0 square is become 1 so last digit is become 1 so it's a happy number all the happy numbers examples are 1 7 13 19 23 and 28 how we can find the happy numbers so I have also I have also write the happy number quotes. So happy numbers is happy numbers. Now happy numbers taken as a boolean types. So simply writes if number is greater than nine, here is sum is zero. So condition if n not equal to zero, then taking as a remainder. So nine and sum equal to 9 into 9 then it's coming <coughs> 9 become 1 and then going for same things if it's become 1 or 7 because 7 is also single digit numbers and 49 becomes so happy numbers come so also count the happy numbers between 1 to 100 if there is a program you can try yourself it becomes so of 1 to 100 there are lots of happy numbers are there you can see 
वन सेवन टेन थर्टीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स तो हैप्पी नंबर्स ना गोइंग फॉर थर्ड प्रोग्राम्स इज जालम एंड फैलम्स सिंपली जालम मीन्स द लास्ट टू डिजिट्स इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ द इट्स मेन डिजिट्स हेयर एट एंड टू इज द लास्ट डिजिट सम इज टेन एंड द मेन इज टू फाइव वन टू टू सो द सम इज मेन इज इक्वल टू टेन and the last digit equal to the mid digit is known as alums if it not then it's phylums it's easy here is the definition the number and will be alum and phylum it's the sum of the strings the first and last digit is equal to the sum of the means digits and first and last bit then sum of the string digit not equal to sum then it's final final and then the other is alum so write the code by using the alum phylums Here we can take a jalum phylum as a strings because we can define a jalum or a phylum. So giving an eight in condition for int sum equal to mid sum, then the jalum is phylum. So I'll write the codes here. We can take a int sum and odd sums. So here we can take an example is n equal to one, two, three, four. So jalum or phylum nodes. So taking here if n is equal to ten, here the condition is. If n equal to ten, so ten should be the value is one, two, three, four. Then or then or then or giving as n is less than ten. My single digit. So last digit and single digit will be added into its sums, and uh, by using the same methods, we call in other method. And the else will the mid sums will be or adding the mid sum with the remainder. So if this end sum equal to mid sum is jalum and if not that is phylum. So we can check by using so uh, simply we can calling the one forty two three is a jalum or phylum not. So we can check its phylums. So by replacing one digit, and now we can check is jalum or phylum not. So it's jalum. Simply way you can use the jalum or phylums. Now the third program says written here is given it says the adding of first two digits and it becomes the third digit is known as it's a, and the series is known as even series. As a simply definition is the number next to the number is the sum of the previous two numbers. For example, is zero ones one two and the three in the sequence of the even series. The first two digit add is equal to the second digit. It becomes the third digits, and the last two digit added to the, and becomes a created new digits. It's created a final final series. Final series always started with zero and one. So we can write the code here. Final series. Final series. We can write the code in two ways. Like uh, here, we can take in simple in the simple methods. Here we taken as uh, n one equal to zero and n two equal to zero one and n three three equal to zero. Now up to the count ten digits, we can print it. So print it firstly, first digit and second digits. Now going for for loops. For loop, I starting int i equal to two and is i less than counts and i plus plus. Here and three equal to sum of the first two digits and simply we printed the third digits and we and can swap swap the number. Swap the And once two, and two, and here we swap the numbers. Swap the numbers, and two becomes and three. Two becomes and three. And two becomes and once and one equal to and two, and then two becomes and three. Up to the loop will be ended or not. So here we can simply find the third digit. So the normal way method we can use to find then and in the another methods is called recursion methods <coughs> where we are taken as a parameter as a numbers first we taken as a numbers second we taken as a zero count and first so giving a two numbers as first place and second place then giving conditions. Recursion means calling the base me methods. It becomes the limit sum. 
recursion means can I call it recursion means the fun process of which a function calling itself directly or indirectly is called recursion correspondence using recursive algorithms here we can uh, define as a third number variables as uh, giving us n1 plus n2 is 0 plus 1 now printing the third variables and we can call the method itself as uh, its value into and we can uh, sim simply subtract it by 1 and we can replace n1 by n2 and uh, n2 with n3 so we can find the recursive methods so we can run the programs and checks here we can print things as we can using the recursion method so we can print here here we can up to the 15 number we can print and here we up to the 10 number we can do simple methods and the easy recursive method so we can run the programs is coming out you see is coming from 1 to 34 and here we can up to the 15 digits thanks dear friends like and subscribe the channel